Summer vibes flow around the city Blooming flowers and colored vision Loving you, but you won't listen It's right around sitting Just me, me, feel me about to fall asleep Coffee Rose Street, see you at Hey guys, welcome back to my channel In this video, I'll show you how to create this golden glowy bronze sort of summer makeup look. I know a few of you guys have been requesting like a golden makeup tutorial. So I came up with this look. It's just super glowy and bronzy. Not too much going on with the eyes. Just bronzing up the skin a little bit for the summertime because for most of you guys it's actually summer right now even though it's winter here in Australia and I am so cold. Summer is my favorite season ever and I love glowy makeup so I really hope you guys like this makeup look. If you do please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe down below if you are new to my channel and also let me know in the comments down below any other videos you'd like to see from me next. I feel like I haven't uploaded a video in a few weeks because I was so busy with exams but now I am back so make sure you let me know in the comments what videos you want to see next so I can film those for you and yeah with all that being said let's just jump straight into the tutorial so for this look I'm not going to be doing my eyes first I'm gonna do them after I do my face makeup which I don't usually do and also I have already done my brows off camera my hair's looking a little bit crazy so don't mind that but the first thing I'm going to be doing is going in with primer and I'm going to be using my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is such a good mattifying primer. But if you do want the like glowing look, I would recommend going with like a glowy primer. I love the Becca Backlight Primer Filter. It is so good. I've just run out of that one. That's why I'm not using it. But this one is also a really good primer. But it's just matte. But we're going to be focusing it more on the T-zone area. And now for foundation, I'm going to be going in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. This is like a soft matte foundation. But again, I would recommend using a more glowy sort of foundation if you want like a glowy look. I've been really liking this NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation lately. And I definitely recommend this. But I'm pretty much using this one just because it is like a couple shades darker than my skin tone. And I'm also trying to create like a bronzy look with this makeup look. So this will sort of help with that. And again, in the summer, you get a bit tan, you get a bit darker. So... You know, I'm just going in with this one. And I'm actually going to be applying it with a brush. My Sigma Flat Kabuki brush. And shout out to Sigma real quick because this video isn't sponsored by the way. But they did actually reach out to me and I am now part of the Sigma family. So if you use my code Martina, you get 10% off your Sigma purchase. I'll have all the details and links down below in the description box if you're interested in that. And I was just so in shock when they reached out to me because... Sigma has been a brand that I've been following since I started watching YouTube videos back in 2012. I remember like Bethany Moda and Carly by Bell using Sigma products and I feel like they're the OG brand that started doing PR packages and having an affiliate program with beauty influencers and all that sort of thing. So I think it's just so surreal that they reached out to me and wanted me to be part of their team and they hooked me up with some amazing products and this was one of them. So I'm so excited to try this out. I've used a couple of their products before and I love them. So I'm so excited to try more. And I am keeping some for like a full face of first impressions makeup look because I've been getting quite a few products lately that I haven't tried out before and you guys have been requesting for me to film one of those videos so they will be coming soon I just need to get more products but yeah anyway I need to stop rambling and continue with this video and I'm just buffing the foundation into my skin I really like the way this brush applied this foundation And when using a foundation that's too dark for your skin tone, make sure you really blend it out everywhere and down your neck as well, which is what I'm going to do now. Okay, now I'm going to be going in with concealer and I'm going to be using my Kylie Cosmetics Skin Concealers. I've got the shade Stone and Pearl. So what I'm going to be doing is applying stone first pretty much in all the concealing, highlighting places that I always apply them in. And then I'm going to be applying a little bit of pearl in the same areas just to bring a little bit more brightness because this is a lighter shade. And then I'll be blending it out with my beauty blender. Okay. 
this cold. Ice tea, hey, what up, what it cold. Got it cold. Cup is cold. Ice tea, hey, what up, what it cold. And now I'm just going to quickly set my under eyes before they start creasing with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And if you're from Australia and you don't already know, they're stopping to sell Laura Mercier here. I don't know why, but we literally can't buy it from anywhere anymore. Not from Sephora, not from any other online stores. Unless it's like an international online store. So if you know of um, an international online store that sells Laura Mercier, please let me know in the comments. I was really wanting to try their concealer, but... I'm not going to be selling Laura Mercier in Australia anymore, which sucks. But honestly, what's new? Australia misses out on everything. And now just with the same Laura Mercier powder, I'm just going to set the rest of my face really lightly. Okay, now we're going to be moving on to the eyes and then we'll just go back to the face in a bit. So now I'm just going to quickly prime my eyes with the Kylie Cosmetics Skin Concealer. I'm just going to buff it out with a brush. And now to set the concealer, I'm going to be going in with the ABH Soft Glam Palette and just picking up the shade Tempera and setting my lids. And this is the palette I'll be using for the eye look. For this eye look, I'm not going to be zooming in super close with the camera like I usually do, just because I'm really not going to be doing much for the eye look. There's not much technique going on, so I don't need to be zoomed up super close. So what I'm going to be doing is just mixing the two shades Orange Soda and Burnt Orange and applying it as my transition crease sort of shade using my Morphe E23 brush. But I'm going to be trying to pick up a little bit more of Orange Soda than Burnt Orange. This is just basically going to give us a little bit of different in the eyes. Now I'm just grabbing this flat shader brush by Zoeva. It's the 234 brush and I'm just going to be spraying it with my MAC Fix Plus spray and I'm just going to be going in with the shade bronze and it's so pretty. I just swatched it on my hand here and I'm basically just going to be applying this all over my lids and I'm even going to be going like above my crease because I just want it to be like a flush of gold on my eyes if you know what I'm saying. And now I'm going to be going in with the shade Fairy and just apply a little bit of it to the center of the lids just to bring a little bit more dimension. And now going back in with the first brush we used, the Morphe E23, I'm just going to blend out that line a little bit. And this is meant to look like a little bit messy because, you know, as I said, I just want it to look like a flush of gold on the eyes. I actually really like how it turned out. I never like go this high with my shimmery shades, but I'm actually... Really like my way of looking. Now we're moving on to contour and I'm not going to be contouring my entire face. I'm just going to be contouring my nose. And I'm just going to be going in with the Anastasia Contour Kit and picking up this middle shade here. And contouring my nose with the Morphe M139 brush. And I'm just going over with this brush that I used to set my under eyes. Just because there's usually a little bit of powder left over on it. And it just blends out the contour perfectly. And now to bronze up my face, I'm going to be going in with the Kylie Cosmetics Cocoa Collection Face Palette and I'm going to be going in with the bronzer Rodeo Drive. And I love using this bronzer when I'm not like contouring and like for a summer bronzy look just because I feel like it's a bit warmer than my Hoola bronzer. It's got a bit more of like an orange tinge and makes me look a bit more tan and it's so creamy and pigmented. So yeah, I'm just going to go in with this and I'm going to be using the Morphe M177 brush. And I'm skipping the face contour because I want this look to be super bronzy and not really structured so much, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm just going to blend out the bronzer a bit with my powder brush I used earlier. Again, because there's usually a little bit of powder left over on it. And it just helps the bronzer blend out and look way more natural if you will. I just noticed some fallout underneath my eyes from the glitter shade so I'm just gonna go back in with this brush just to um sort of wipe away the fallout. Now for highlight I'll be going in with the Morphe R36 brush and spraying with my MAC Fix Plus because you know for a glowy look the MAC Fix Plus just really amps up the highlight and makes it blinding. So for my highlight I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia by Amrezi highlight and I'm using this because it's more of a golden highlight and it's a golden highlight that isn't dark for my skin tone which I really like. So I'm going to be going hand with that. I do just wait a little bit for my brush to dry 
just because if we go in with it too wet it's just gonna make the highlight super streaky and we don't want that happening and bring it up on your forehead as well this will help lift the brow and also give you more of a glowy look and just a little bit all over the forehead you know on the chin you want to be glowing literally everywhere just like go everywhere and I'm just going to be applying it to my cupid's bow and nose with my finger. Now with my detailed shader brush, I'm spraying a little bit of the MAC Fix Plus on there. And I'm just going to be highlighting my brow bone still with this Amrezi highlight. Now just blending out that harsh line with my Zoeva 224 brush. And now for blush, I'm going in with the Kylie Cosmetics by Kris Jenner palette from the Kris collection. And I'm going to be picking up this blush down here. It's like a shimmery coral peachy shade and it's called I Raise You on Mac and Cheese. And I'm just going to be applying it on my cheeks with this angled blush brush from the Kylie Cosmetics birthday collection last year. It's a really good brush so I like using it. I'm just going to apply it to my cheeks. And I'm also just going to apply a bit like on my nose and just sort of like right here just because it gives you more of like a tan sort of sun-kissed look. You know like you've been out soaking up the summer sun. And then I'm just going to go in with this little brush and go back in with my soft glam palette. And I'm just going to be picking up the shade orange soda and just smoking out my lower lash line. I'm sorry for this ugly face I'm doing. You can just always do it. And now with the detail shader brush again by Zoeva. Spraying it with a bit of MAC Fix Plus. And I'll be going in with the shade Fairy and applying it to my inner corners. I'm sort of like gonna really bring it up and here underneath as well. So now I'm just going to set my face with my MAC Fix Plus spray. And I just love using MAC Fix Plus because it just really gives you a more glowy look and I love it. Now before I move on to lashes, I'm just gonna quickly go change and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to do the lashes and then finish off with the lips. So what I'm going to be doing is curling my lashes first. And for mascara, I'm going to be going in with the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Feline Mascara. And I'm just applying it to my top lashes for now. And then just quickly off camera, I'm going to be applying my Lily Lashes in the Style of Miami. These are my all-time favorite lashes if you know me and I do actually have a video on how I apply my falsies so you can click somewhere on the screen to check that out if you like and once I apply these lashes I will be right back and now going back in with that same mascara and applying it to my bottom lashes and I really like using this mascara for my bottom lashes because I actually find that it doesn't smudge underneath my eyes and that's really great for summertime because you know when you get really hot sweaty sometimes your mascara will smudge underneath your eyes but I haven't had that experience with this mascara yet so I just recommend it and I'll even show you guys a little trick in a bit that I like to do to help prevent smudging underneath the eyes as well. So my little tip is just grabbing a cotton bud, q-tip, you know whatever and then just rubbing it against the lower lashes just to take off the excess mascara so it doesn't smudge underneath the eyes. So now I'm going to finish off the look with my lips and I'm just going to be going in with my Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K Lip Liner just to line my lips and of course overdraw them as I always do. And I will be doing like a glossy lip just to finish off the glowy look. And I'm going to go over my lips just really lightly with the liner okay and now for the gloss i'm going to be going in with the dose of colors desi x katie collection lip gloss in the shade over the top and this is such a pretty gloss it's got like little gold flecks in it but it's not too like chunky glittery and it's just really nice and perfect for a golden glowy type of look which is what i'm trying to achieve today so what better time to use this gloss than now So this is the final look. I really hope you guys liked this video and this tutorial helped you out. I'm actually really happy with how this look turned out and it actually didn't even take me that long. If you guys recreate this look, please send me any photos, tag me on Insta or Twitter or whatever, you know. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!